Shane Trenchard Wine Creativity Brews, as a specially designed class galvanizes and empowers students to learn from their mistakes and to appreciate the true value of teamwork. Veronica is here to find out more. Knowledge is power, but really, does gaining more knowledge make you wiser and happier in life? From my experience when I was studying psychology in university, well, I did end up in that career. So there must be more than meets the eye in education. Today we're going to explore a different form of education and see if this rings true. The principles of STEM is uh, about creativity and empathy. They tell us um, we need to flexibly to combine different knowledge that we learn from different categories and to create something new and valuable to the community. The main difference between STEM and um, regular education is regular education, we have syllabus. STEM don't have. So there's no specific structure? No, because STEM is just like your apps in the mobile phone mm -hmm. and it almost updates every day. Oh. Every day, right? So STEM is the same. STEM is following the change of the technology and the mm -hmm. world. 2017 or 16, mm -hmm. we have brought a, a team of students, about 12 students, to Israel. Oh, wow! For 13 days. Israel is named a uh, uh, startup nation. Mm. Okay, so they um, go over there to uh, contact with some uh, startup companies to uh, see the culture and a lot of things. And also, we rent 12 kilometers in the desert for the sunrise. <laughs> People have that experience even in a lifetime. <laughs> and what, what is the spirit of STEM is, you know, what the, what the student asks before they ran the mm -hmm. 12K? Mm -hmm. Because we wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. going to the desert in the summer, 12K. The only question they asked was, very amazing, do we have breakfast? <laughs> breakfast, yes, we need okay. that for the energy to keep going. <laughs> exactly, and actually it means they are ready for any challenges. This is spirit of STEM. Yes. So uh, we, we learn a lot from our students. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me what's the challenge in, in, the, in the class, mm -hmm. every day is a challenge. Every day? Every day because a good STEM should be creative. Mm -hmm. And um, and it grow with grow with, with the with the time. Mm -hmm. It can change any time. I believe the STEM we're talking about in Hong Kong, it could be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not a matter of right or wrong. Mm -hmm. No, if we believe this is a, a, a right way for the STEM education, we just want to uh, share our experience so that when more schools are reading and doing the same thing, then we may uh, deliver a signal to the industry. We have needs of these kinds of resources. Yes. So the enterprise, they, will invest, they may invest something for the next generation. The next mission of, uh, of us is trying to turn STEM education into a way of game. Actually, we are not only playing, mm -hmm. but the, the lesson moving like a game so that everyone may have their own goal mm -hmm. and they obtain their re reward according to their character and their role. Wow, that already sounds so interesting and fun. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, I'm so excited to see what projects they're working on. We can have a look of that. How inspiring. The passion to teach the next generation through STEM is quite apparent. Now, I can't wait to see what projects these young bright minds have in store for us. Wow, so Joe, this looks very functional. And there's a ruler on the back. Exactly, this is an invention of Godwin. Oh, Godwin, can you tell us more about this invention? Um, so basically, it's a um, spinal posture checker device and uh, it can monitor a user's spinal posture and uh, it can also uh, send a signal to the user's phone and um, alert the user when the user is not um, having a correct spinal posture. Mm. So um, it also has some vibrators at the end. Oh really? Vibrations? Yeah. So if I'm not in the right posture, it's going to vibrate? Yes, yes. At the exact location. Oh. Um, where the posture is incorrect. There's a brand name for it. Back, Back up! up. Wow. <laughs> it's very creative and people can think of it right away. Hi Jerry, hi Michael. Can you tell me what you guys are working on? So we're currently working on our insert prototypes and these are our first to third gen of HomeKit. 
and this is the third period of like the air purifier of the 3D models. And here what you can see is the preview of the UI of our InSIP app. This one, can you show me how to use it just very quickly? Yeah, um, you can just see those buttons and light. Um, there's some buttons related to the air quality. Mm -hmm. And also uh, you can schedule some of the dates for your meeting. And also uh, you can use the uh, functionality uh, on our app to see your the situation of where you are. So this is a monitor. Yeah. You can monitor what it's yeah. doing and also it's yes. it's a nice portable device where you can control it. Yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, exactly. Well, for me, I have been a really creative person since I was a, a child mm -hmm. and I've always wanted to create things and this course allowed me to unleash my creativity into learning how to make 3D models like mm -hmm. this and um, it actually teaches me a lot on how like, to imagine things and it also gave me a really good view into how like, a 3D world works. Mm -hmm. So there's really no gender differentiation at all? No, STEM doesn't matter about boy or girl. Uh, we have some successful cases. For example, we have a boy who was only, uh, when he was 15 years old, he won the uh, United Nations uh, uh, World Summit Award. He got a record being the youngest winner in the world. That's a huge accomplishment. But on the other hand, we also have very uh, successful girls, and she is one of our instructors. Oh! STEM instructor. Okay, can okay. we have a conversation with her? Of course. Let's go. Okay. In Kuntong, Veronica gives us an inside look at the impact of STEM on female students. At first, when I was a student experiencing STEM education, I just felt like, oh, that's not my thing, mm -hmm. actually. Even, even though I'm, um, I'm a STEM teacher yes. right now. Because it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, yeah. and Mathematics, and that's not a girl thing. I, I don't like that. Actually, yeah. I, I feel like I'm an art person. Mm. So I just feel like, oh, the engineering, or the, those stuff is really boring. Mm. And then I just find out that it's not just about STEM, those science, technology, engineering, mathematics, mm -hmm. but more about empathy. It's like, uh, no matter how advanced the technology is, it's useless if it's not for the people. Through the STEM education, I learned more about critical thinking, design thinking. So mm -hmm. we want to, um, to nurture uh, a leader, yes. a student leader. So they have to discuss by themselves, they have to solve the problem by themselves. So I just have to inspire them, to guide them. So right now, the STEM program we're at mm -hmm. is at a girls' school. Do you think that there is more girls doing certain art forms? I thought a lot of girls would just do the art form, but some of them, they, they prefer engineering. They raise their hands and then really? say, I, I, want, I want to do the stage management, the stage engineering. And I thought, oh, you have to carry all those heavy stuff. Yeah. You have to do it by yourself. There's no point for you. And then she said, oh, I, I do it all the time. STEM is not just for boys, not mm -hmm. just for the, the, the men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girls can also lead it. Is there any projects that you guys are working on right now? We are going to join the 3D projection mapping competition. Wow, and yeah. when is that? Uh, it is about we need to prepare our 3D projection mapping work. Our theme is about how people can use, can apply the technology in a good way. After attending this class, I think oh, technology can relate to art. Mm. We need to draw, we need to prepare some photos and present our innovative ideas. I can learn that how to use STEM in our daily life. Um, a teacher found us and they say, oh, you can join this program, you can try new things. And wow. this, is, this will offer you so many opportunity. Mm -hmm. And we join this because um, I like to try new things. This program is give us a freedom. You know, the regular lesson, they just like, give you a script and give you a recipe and first of all you press this. You have to follow yeah. it, the specific procedures. Yeah, and this program just like, in the first 15 minutes they will um, t teach you how to use these functions or introduce the application to you and after that you have the, you have the freedom to just try it out mm. yourself. Wow, who would have thought I would be stepping into a school again? After talking to the teachers and the students, I really like how they share a unique sense of passion towards the program and it's nurturing them for a bigger, brighter future. A lot of the time they're working on team projects. This is training their teamwork. This skill is so important in real life. 
So what my take is from this, mm, you learn, you're always learning from the young, from the old, it never stops. So live life to the fullest and enjoy all the moments.